In the pictorial depiction of this character, it features a plant with its roots growing downward and its shoots reaching upwards. The inverted triangle in the middle symbolizes a heap of soil. As the character evolved, we can observe that ancient people filled in this inverted triangle, signifying very stable ground. The plant image, with its roots firmly planted in the earth, conveys the idea of being fixed in one place, and that's the essence of which translates to in or at. In the later stages of character development, people added the character to meaning earth or soil to the original image of the plant with its roots and sprouts. This addition is closely tied to the Chinese cultural concept of settling down when one owns land, highlighting the significance of land ownership. Chinese people highly value the land because possessing land enables farming, marking the transition from a nomadic lifestyle to a settled one in a specific location for generations. To remember the pronunciation of zai, you can think of the word sign. When you're settled somewhere, you can put up a sign to declare, I'm here. Now, let's introduce the character, tu, located at the bottom right of the character, zai. This character represents a substantial chunk of earth placed on the ground. The horizontal line below signifies the land itself. Over time, the large block above extended outward to form a cross shape. In our previous lessons, we've already explained that the cross character derives from a knot tied in a rope, with the extension of that knot outward becoming a horizontal line. The same principle applies here with the earth chunk extending outward to form a cross shape, but we won't delve into further detail on that here. Now, let's dive into practicing how to write these characters. Zai. 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 Tu. 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 After you've gone through the stroke order practice, have you managed to commit the pronunciations, characters, and the stories behind these Chinese words to memory? So, there you have it, some enjoyable and memorable ways to learn Chinese pronunciations and characters using a creative method based on scaffolding learning theory. Thank you for tuning into this episode of our educational series. If you found our teaching approach helpful and enjoyable for your Chinese learning journey, please give us a thumbs up and show your support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive more teaching episodes. Also, consider recommending our teaching videos to friends who might be interested in learning Chinese, helping them avoid the frustrations that can come with learning a new language. Your support and encouragement mean a lot to us. We'll catch you in the next episode.